What's going on everybody, it's Warren and welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder. It seems like our dry spell of Marvel content is over. For many, many months there, we weren't really getting any MCU content, but over the past couple of weeks, we have been swarmed with new information. We've had the She-Hulk casting, Miss Marvel got its directors, we got a trailer for WandaVision, and now we have official news about a new Disney Plus series. It looks like Sam Jackson is returning to the MCU, reprising his role as the one and only Nick Fury. Today, Variety reported that Marvel Studios is officially developing a new Disney Plus series that is going to star Sam Jackson as Nick Fury. And here's Variety's report. Samuel L. Jackson is set to reprise the role of Nick Fury in a new Marvel series currently in development at Disney Plus. So this show is already in development. Marvel Studios has already been working on this project. So we really really have no idea how long Marvel Studios has been working on this, but it's most likely going to come in Marvel's Phase 5. Now, the report from Variety goes on to say that the plot details of the show are being kept under wraps, and that's typical Marvel Studios fashion, but we can deduct what we expect the show to be. Now, the last time that we saw Nick Fury was in the post credit scene of Spider-Man Far From Home, and he was aboard a ship in space with a bunch of scroll. Now, Marvel kind of changed who the scroll are in the MCU compared to the comics, in the comics, they're actually the bad guys. But as Captain Marvel revealed, and as Spider-Man Far From Home's post credit scene revealed, they're good. They're on our side. At least, most of them are. So what exactly is this spaceship in space that Nick Fury is on with all of these scroll? Well, this is widely believed, and it makes the most sense, to be S.W.O.R.D.'s headquarters located in space called The Peak. Now, S.W.O.R.D. stands for Sentient World Observation and Response Department, and it's the counterpart to S.H.I.E.L.D. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s job is to handle earthly threats, and S.W.O.R.D.'s job is to handle extraterrestrial threats, which is why their headquarters is located in space. But Nick Fury is there, in the headquarters, in space. So, what role is Nick Fury going to play with S.W.O.R.D.? Well, as we all probably assume, he's most likely going to be in charge. Instead of S.H.I.E.L.D. now, he's moved on to S.W.O.R.D. It's very clear after Avengers Endgame and after the Infinity Saga in its entirety that there are many extraterrestrial threats out there that could potentially come and harm Earth. So after Infinity War, where Nick Fury got snapped along with Maria Hill and after Avengers Endgame, it looks like Nick Fury wants to focus a little bit more towards those extraterrestrial threats. After all, no human on Earth has the ability, on his own, to wipe out half of the universe. So over this past year, there have been many different rumors that Agents of S.W.O.R.D. could be developing. And since this show is going to star Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury as the main character, and he's working with S.W.O.R.D., and he's most likely going to be the head of S.W.O.R.D., this could be an Agents of S.W.O.R.D. show. Now, that may not be the official title, but that's essentially what it's looking like we're going to get. And again, right now we don't know the plot, but some insiders are saying that they're hearing it could be a secret invasion plot, which is the perfect job for S.W.O.R.D. So Marvel is really up to a lot right now, developing series that we didn't even know were in the works. So if you want to stay up to date on all of these Disney Plus series and everything in the MCU, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Don't forget to leave a like and let me know down below in the comments what you think about this new Disney Plus series starring Nick Fury. And let me know what you would like to see out of this TV show. Would you like to see the Secret Invasion storyline? Let me know down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.